everybody, Nick Arnett, another episode of Cool People I Know or Meet. And this morning I met Gail Moat. Yeah, Gail, hi, Nick. you are the best. I, I'm speaking at a conference and so is Gail. We are. And I, I started talking with Gail and you are so interesting. Thank you. You talk about a couple things, don't you? You yeah. specialize in a couple areas. Yep, teams and everything team related and emotional intelligence. Both of them and they're, and they're related. And they're absolutely related. And in addition to that, you, you also uh, teach at the University of Iowa. Yes, yes go Hawkeyes. Yay, Hawkeyes. <laughs> All right. Cyclones are okay, too, but, yeah, you know, the, the, okay the Hawkeyes yeah. are, are on the show. I so cheer we, for the Cyclones like until, they, until they play the Hawks and okay, the part ways. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Well, what, what can you say about uh, teamwork? What, what does that mean to you? Well, you know, there's two things I think that are really essential for great teams. The first one is you, you build a solid foundation. So you structure them so that they're set up for success. A lot of people say this is my team, but they're really a working group. They're not a team at all. Oh, they're my. just a bunch of people that are stuck in the same room together. <laughs> all so, right. so you've got to give them a good foundation. But then it's the dynamics. Um, I'm a big advocate of Pat Lynchoni's Five Dysfunctions um, of a Team and the Five Behaviors of a Cohesive Team. He just came out with this brand new book. The ideal team player. The uh, ideal team, team player. player. We'll yeah. have to put that down there because that would be worth reading. It, it is absolutely um, worth reading. And I can give you a little prequel. Um, the three behaviors are being humble, uh, being hungry, and being smart. And smart not in the way that you and I would normally think about it, but smart in terms of emotionally intelligent, that you're able to be smart, the street smarts, right? Mm. Understanding what's being said and what's really not being said and how people are reacting and responding to what you're doing and making good choices based on that. So the dynamics within a team are a big part of it. You can give team great structure, but if they're not working cohesively together, they're not gonna accomplish their results. So that's How about it, that? Yeah, how about that? Nice, and yeah. you teach this uh, to MBA students I even, don't you? teach this to MBA students, yes, yes. Um, and uh, we, we, have, uh, we have great fun with it. Well, you know. well, let's go back to emotional intelligence. Uh, do you think it's something that most people have? I think it's most people have the capability to develop it. Okay, um, they have are, to learn it. They absolutely, and it's not like personality and IQ. Personality and IQ are pretty, you're pretty grounded by the time you're a teenager, but Dog emotional, on it. yeah. Really? No yeah, hope? You're, uh, you know, when you're uh, as smart at 14 as you are at 84. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> But the nice thing is, is EQ gets better with age. Okay, yeah. good. Oh, okay. yeah. The older we get, the more emotionally intelligent we get. You know. So, so, so you can kind of uh, balance things out, huh? Absolutely. That's why wind could. that's why windshields are bigger than rearview mirrors. So, all we right. Keep, we keep looking forward. So we're sort of graded <laughs> on a curve, then. Yeah. All Thanks. right. I like, like that. <laughs> well, how did? You, why are you so interested in the, in this? Of all the things you could have done. Uh, I think because I see the great I, I see the great impact it can it can have. So when when people really discipline themselves and really start practicing really strong emotional intelligence skills, it, it, it helps them in every aspect of their life. Every no, aspect. No matter life. what they do. No matter what they, they do. They don't have to be an MBA student. No. They can just be a mom. Anybody watching this. Or a dad or or you know, anything. Dog Absolutely. Comment. What a great episode. Nick How can they, can they, are you on social media or anything I'm like that? I'm on LinkedIn. They You're can on LinkedIn? Link, uh, they can link in with me. Link, in, and your name on LinkedIn is? It's Gail, G-A-L-E, Moat, M-O-T-E. Gail Moat. Yeah. Gail Moat. I like it. I Gail like Moat. It, yeah. it just two one-syllable <laughs> words and, and you're out of there. I am. Friends, a great episode here. Cool people I know are meet. I'm glad I met Gail Moat today. And catch her on LinkedIn. Meanwhile, everyone, See you on the next episode of Cool People I Know Are Meet with Nick Arnett. And meanwhile, everybody, be sure and be cool. All right? Thanks. Catch you later. Bye. <laughs>